Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is gonna be my first update for Day of the Dead Project Pan. Um, this project is in collab with Fantastic Ladies and it was created by my friends Kim and Jen. I will have all the details in the description box. Um, this is my first video of the new year. I hope you're all having a great start for the new year. I wish you lots of happiness this year and yeah let's go ahead and get into this project actually before we get into the details of this project if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up uh before you leave and if you're enjoying it anyway now let's go ahead and get into this project uh the the project is based on day of the dead celebration honoring our loved ones remembering them um, after they pass on to a different life or pass on. I don't know. Is there a different life? Who knows? I would like to think that there is. Um, anyways, I started the project with three different prompts and there are two parts to each prompt. So there's an A and a B. So that was a total of six products that I had. Um, I was not able to roll in for new items unless I finished both parts of each prompt. And I am so close on meeting my goal on all on four items. Um, we'll talk about the items I met my goals on, and then we're gonna go ahead and I'll show you what I rolled for my new um, rolled in in their place. Uh, we'll get started with the prompts that I had previously. I had number 12A and 12B. Uh, 12A was rich families have servants guarding family positions displayed at the altars. And the way that Jen and Kim had translated that prompt into, they said, it's your most expensive item. Uh, I was working on my Tom Ford Bitter Peach Perfume. Uh, my goal was to use it 10 times. I actually went over the 10 uses. Um, I don't know how many, how much more, but I've used it 10 plus times um, and this was one of the items that I couldn't roll out until I meet the second part let me just go ahead and show you um, how much progress I've made on this little perfume by itself but there it is there's this one it smells amazing I do really enjoy it um, I'm happy I met my goal because now I can roll in for something else or I'm very close to rolling in for something else because the second part of this prompt which is 12b is Aztec culture, oldest item in any category. And that for me was Milani uh, Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. My goal was to use this guy 10 times. I've used it nine times so far. I have one more use. So I, I'm, I'm gonna continue and do one more use. But at this point, I am gonna go ahead and roll in for new prompts to use in place of these two. Um, again, I still have one more use in this project, so I'm not taking it out completely but uh yeah I, I wanted to roll in because I did not want to wait a whole other month before rolling something else in its place um the other uh which one did I finish okay I finished 13a and 13b I met my goal in both of these for 13a we had orange Mexican marigolds called insert word i don't know how to say this word for 20 flowers use a product 20 times um my goal for that one or the product that i was using for that is the abh clear brow gel um i was getting really close to finishing the brow gel itself so i said as soon as i finished this if i hadn't um done 20 uses i'm gonna use the abh brow freeze to make up the 20 uses but i was actually able to get 20 uses out of this one it is an empty currently like comes out completely bare there's nothing on it but i did use it for 20 times um and i met my goal on it for this project now for 13b is uh toys a childlike theme or tiny sized item or a mini and my mini was the uh, mac prep and prime natural radiance uh, and this is in the shade radiant pink i finished it so I'm at my goal on both of these um, on 13A and 13B, and I'm rolling new products in their place, which we'll talk about in a minute. And then the last two items I had in this uh, in this project are for 16A and 16B. 16A is a served cold or a cooling item. Um, for that, I had the Catrice HD Active Performance Freezing Spray. This was my point where I started using it. I wanted to finish it, and I did. I definitely finished it, and it's been a while back, but I haven't met my goal on the second part of this item, 
which is black, an item with black packaging, black in color or in the name. And for that, I was working on my MAC Kinda Sexy uh, Lippy. I have not met my goal on this one. I think my goal is to use it 10 times and I just gotta grab my paper real quick because I did mark it. Um, and I think I'm at five uses. I think I have five more uses. Oh no, I'm at six uses. So I have four more uses on this one. Um, I'm not gonna roll in for it just yet. I'm gonna tell you what I rolled in for the other four items. Um, I'm gonna continue working on this one so it's not rolled out completely the same as the Luminoso. I have one use in Luminoso and four uses left in MAC. Um, let's go ahead and talk about the products that I rolled in. I, like I said, I rolled in um, two prompts, so the 12A12B and 13A13B I rolled in for their place, in their place. I feel like this is just kind of confusing, you know, because you have to finish two products before you roll in new items. Anyway, let's just do, let's talk about those. Um, I randomly selected my uh, prompts and I actually selected 7A, 7B and 8A, 8B. Um, we'll start with 7A, Ad is Alters, a product with packaging worthy of display. For that, I am gonna go ahead and roll in this Pure X Barbie highlighter. This is in the shade Dream Glow. This is absolutely stunning packaging, totally worthy of display. And this is what the product looks like on the inside. My goal is to use this highlighter 10 times. Um, so that's my goal, whether it's this shade, this shade, this shade, or all of them together, I don't really care. I just wanna use it 10 times. Now for 7B, a product you'd wear, you'd wear to a party. And that would be my Give um, I See in Sparkle Multidimensional Eye Pigments. And this is in the shade Twinkle. This is such a beautiful single shadow, um, super sparkly, looks absolutely stunning on the eyes, beautiful for any party. Just kind of like add a little bit of sparkle onto the eyes. So this one I do want to use 10 times. Okay, for the next prompt that I rolled in is 8A and 8B. 8A is Sing and Dance, a celebrity makeup, skincare, or hair care brand. I actually went with a makeup product. This is created by a celebrity, Lady Gaga, and this is the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. It's a beautiful, beautiful foundation. I do really enjoy it and I'm happy to have it on a project so I can just use it. <laughs> I do want to get 10 uses out of this product or, you know, I'm rolling in for 10 uses. I feel like everything I have today is 10 uses. And then the last one is 8B for offerings, a gifted item, whether it's from friend, family, PR, etc. I went with a gifted item from a friend. This was sent to me by my friend, Sarah. I'm so happy with this palette and I'm really, really excited to be playing with it. Um, this is the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. I've used it before a couple times and it's such a gorgeous palette, easy for every day or I can amp it up a bit and go, you know, nighttime look kind of thing with it. It's really, really pretty. I do want to use this palette 10 times. I want to reach for it 10 times. So that's my goal on it. And that's it. That's my update. Um, I hope it wasn't too confusing with like, I know I didn't reach my goal, but I'm going to roll in kind of thing. I did it for one of the prompts, but not for both of them. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this update. If you did, please make sure to go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.